This is a game that I have been looking forward to playing too for quite a long time now. Battletoads. The new one. As you can maybe pick apart from around the TV, I am a really big fan of the Battletoads franchise. I remember during the heat of it, I jokingly said to one of my friends, You know, if they ever make a new Battletoads, I'm going to be there for the midnight release. And then, to my shock, they actually did it. Unfortunately, it was during the COVID virus, so obviously there was no midnight release, and plus it was digital. However, I downloaded this opening day. To my dismay, though, the strongest computer I had was not able to run this game. However, thanks to my cousins, I now have a machine that I think is robust enough to handle it. I've been looking forward to this. Let us begin. So, just as a heads up, I have made it to the starting screen before the game would always crash on me. Hopefully I'll be able to go a little further. So the main thing I know is that it's considered to be a game you should play with a controller. I have a rather interesting setup here where it's an N64 to USB. So I'm hoping this will be compatible. Because I do not think this game will work too well on the mouse and keyboard. So, let us begin. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. <laughs> we recommend using a controller for the best game experience. Oh, and I am. Uh, so far, I'm just loving this riff on the opening theme. This is fantastic. Press the enter button. Okay. Now let's see if we can figure this out. Let me try the other side. I guess I'll just have to go with the mouse and keyboard. Here we go. First thing, I did have a obvious save, but I'm going to take get rid of it now in case it got halfway through a cutscene or something. Players who are familiar with the range of game types and enjoy a challenge. So I'm just curious, what are the difficulties? Tadpole. Players who want to focus more on the fun and desire a minimal amount of challenge across all game types. The difficulty cannot be changed after selection. <laughs> Players who want more intense experience across all game types. <laughs> eh, I'll go for the medium. I don't feel like completely destroying myself with the battle toads difficulty. <laughs> Invincibility available. Yeah. Give the name. Oh, and you can select your toad. Okay, so we got Rash, Zitz, and Dimple. Go with the bottom. main man, Rash. Yeah. Double sunglasses. Yeah, so like Rash is the general all around guy who's pretty much good at everything. You got Zitz, who's a little smarter, but also a little weaker. And you got Pimple, who's not really all that smart, but he's a force to be reckoned with. I'm very curious to see how that'll come across. Being a bad guy is great. Cool hideout, fancy cover board. And no one can tell me to wear a shirt. <laughs> oh no, it's a mega famous battle tone, including Dick, the leader, Pimple, the strong one, and Rash, the sunglasses one. <laughs> Don't forget that kisser. That. Enough talk. It's time to... Oh wow, they get the best talk. Kisser. Why are you the best kisser? <laughs> Uh, maybe because I practice on my hand all the time. That just means you're the best at kissing your hand. Come on, there's more goes outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this so far. Okay, so we get to play with the movement and let me attack. Oh, yeah. You gotta 
I can't read the controls on the screen. Let's. Interesting, so you can play as the other toes. It's like a T and T. Since it's quite a force to be reckoned with. Well, they all have different, uh, different attack patterns. I like that. I just wish I could get better control, but that's more my fault than anything else. I still don't know what. R&B is short for. Pick up, pick up the fly, I need the fly. I'm so happy I went with the 80s TV because this fits this style of the uh, cyberpunk so well. Oh wow. Wasn't expecting that. I like a uh, <laughs> rather seductive looking totress over there. <laughs> Look out! Sense of humor, this is fantastic. I'm just trying to figure out how to do some vape thing. I get it, I pushed the upper. Train or like that. I like to see. 
see about the controller this because I can see why they were saying you could be It's kind of difficult. <laughs> it is an instantly gratifying award ceremony. <laughs> No autographs, please. Oh, back! Ha <laughs> ha! This bubblegum pig just won't quit.
the way I finished him off. See ya. What is that pig's problem? Besides punching too slowly. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I love the writing of this game. <laughs> I wonder if they're going to make a show out of this. I know they tried that one time before, but it didn't really work. Just one, two, or three to tag in the different toes. Hmm. That's nice. Okay. I'll stick with my main man. Yes. I just find it funny, he's like the Mona Lisa there. Look at that guy. <laughs> we can kind of see the resemblance. <laughs>
Oh, wow. Yikes. <laughs> I don't think he's coming back this time. Oh, well, it's nice to be him. On with the celebration! <laughs> Sucks to be him. I love it. <laughs> So that's good. <laughs> well, let's at least see where the story goes from here. <laughs> that boy was executed. <laughs> in lighter news, we've all heard of Toad in the Hole, but Toads in a hole? Julie Saturn Rings has more. Thanks, sir. Sounds bizarre, but that's exactly what a local construction crew discovered this afternoon. Yeah, so we were digging, you know, for construction stuff, and I find this bunker with friggin' frogs trapped inside. And I mean, it stinks. So we checked the wiring, and these morons been in there for 26 years, living a simulated fantasy life. And I mean, they stink. 26 years in a fantasy bunker? You'd have to be gullible not to figure that one out. So, Frog, how you feeling? Stupid? We're not frogs. We're toads. The battle toads. Yes. We're famous superheroes. This just in. No, you're not. This has been Julie Saturday's <laughs> asking, what are they going to do now? <laughs> Since you need to click it, it's just, it's not working. Okay. Oh, you're spinning around, okay. Out of all the names, why Ron? Jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is sitting a little too close to home. I really found myself relating the pimple on that one, but uh, <laughs> that's just because I'm in IT and, uh, well, sometimes I do get a little angry at some of the repairs that are a little more difficult because I have to smack the thing. This is a good way to test the microphone. Stealing. 
not having flashbacks to you know, the antagonists, you don't have to start over when you lose. Oh, after a certain number of deaths, you can activate temporarily if it's ability hold. And this setting is available in the settings menu. Hmm. Okay, I guess I ran out of lives in. I, I don't know how many there are. Turbo bikes still need ground beneath them. Don't steer over any hole. I know that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. If that doesn't work, I'll have to see if I can come back with a hack by this controller. I feel like this one's just gonna kind of come down the timing of the memorization. Rats, you can get through this. <laughs> you know, I just thought about it. Where's the vulture to give me some very insightful criticism? toad crashes out, they will come back as the next checkpoint, so just hope your teammates is better than you. <laughs> I think I'll call it there. All in all, I'd say this is a very faithful... All in all, I'd say this is a very faithful remake. I love the characters. It's kind of nice that the characters actually have characters this time, because for the most part, it just seems like they were more three buff dudes, one of them was slightly smarter, slightly stronger, or just slightly cooler. So here it's nice that they actually have dialogue, and quite frankly I really like these characters that they've written for them. I'll we'll have to see if I can come back with a halfway decent controller, so that way I can actually get some lives in here. But all the same, I'm very thoroughly impressed, and uh, if they made another Battletoads game, uh, it'd be fantastic. Maybe even bring back the Double Dragon franchise and have them team up once again to take on well, either the Dark Queen or maybe some other boss, like the Shadow Boss or something like that. Well, I was still in the Battletoads mood, and plus I wanted to show you that I'm not completely a noob at this game. So I'm going to play one of my favorite entries in the franchise, Battletoads and Double Dragon, the NES version. Now one of the things I find so crazy about this particular game is that there are actually four different versions. You have the Super Nintendo version, the NES version, the Genesis version, and apparently there's one on Game Boy. But for my money, the NES version is the best because it just has a lot more sound effects and it just looks beautiful on this system. Like for example, this music is not in the Super Nintendo version. Show you the intro, but I don't want this to take forever. You 
also don't get this sweet character selection music. Just like last time we're going to Crash and Man. My name is Toby. Who did it? Looks like the graphics are starting to get a little corrupt. Hopefully, I don't want to affect the gameplay too much. It's going to be a beautiful side from the digital glitches. <laughs> Tail of a wrench. Oh, we're not like you treat us. We're going to beat you up. Yeah, I should have thought that was going to happen. This game may be really advanced, but it's very picky. <laughs> I'm doing. Just gotta wait to get to the title screen again. Just gotta see all these. No! <clears throat> okay. Kevin, what anybody says, this blowing trick actually works.
more important to listen to that face. Controversial opinion if it works, you know, but I think it does. Take him to the curb. Friend, the thing I find the most ridiculous is look at this floor. It, it looks so three dimensional and it's very smooth, and this is NES. I mean, true, this was pretty much the end of the NES's lifespan, but I still think this game looks quite gorgeous. You see it on the Super Nintendo, they took away all these bright and vibrant colors, so it almost looks like a more industrial sort of form thing. I'm not sure how else to describe it. But if you ever see a side-by-side -side comparison, you'll see that the NES looks far more colorful. I guess that's how they tried to make up for the limited graphics, even though they are this impressive. Super Nintendo version slightly superior is that the counter will reset so once it reaches all lines it will go back to zero again. Here it does not, it will stay jammed. Same with the Genesis version and I probably guess the Game Boy version as well. So if you're able to run over these just right, you'll get a lot. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't as intense as the original. Show you the 
first few levels anyway. I love to get to the missile, that's gotta be my favorite level. Mostly because of the music and the idea that you can throw people out and put them back into space. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this little game. Perhaps someday I shall show you more, but for now I just kind of wanted to give a little preview that I'm not completely inept at Battletoads. Until next time, keep having fun.